Yeah, so Comixology is dead. Um, they're dead. They've been merged, or, well, Amazon has owned them for years, but um, they've been uh, merged into the Amazon storefront, and that's all they are now. Uh, Comixology is just another part of Amazon's uh, storefront, which is a joke, actually. I've always felt that, you know, despite the fact that uh, Amazon is, you know, such a powerful uh, website, you know, Bezos is the richest dude in the world and the richest guy in history or whatever. Despite that, uh, Amazon has one of the worst UIs in, you know, period. They just, they have a really silly, ugly, corny design. And in all these years, they haven't improved it or updated it at all. Um, so now when you look at Comixology and me, I use the web mainly to uh, check on Comixology. I'll read uh, comics that I download on, I have the tablet, I have a Fire tablet from Amazon. Um, so I'll read that. Once I download whatever I purchase on the web browser, but yeah, the web browser is just uh, gone. It's, it's dead and gone. And so now you're just looking at Amazon and you're looking at the same things you normally would see on Amazon. And that has nothing to do with presenting comics in any kind of uh, coherent way. It doesn't make any sense. You know, you, you, you know, because you're not just looking at, you know, trade paperbacks. You're looking at single issues. You can't, they don't even allow you to look for my comics. If you went to the normal Comixology web browser before this stupid ass upgrade, there's a, a place right up there next to account, my books. So you could see your library. You could see books that you're currently reading, what's unread, what's recently purchased, your wish list, all kinds of things. You know, you get different rows and you see the comics there. Now that's all gone. It's again, it's just, they just dumped everything in a pile and you can't find it. I had to Google complaining, where are my um, comics? And you see some, <clears throat> excuse me, you see some link somewhere that takes you to a place where, you know, once you look around, you can see, view my comics. And it's just normal Amazon with a list from A through Z of all of your comics. And I don't even know if everything is there or not, but it's just alphabetical doesn't make any sense it's nothing it's just pictures so when you click on uh the comic now it's just asking you if you want to buy it or not you can't click to read you can't click to get any detailed information nothing it's just I, there's no point to it like i don't and <clears throat> when people talk about you know capitalism you know sucking and you have people who are like capitalism is great it's about innovation it's about people working hard it's about people with pulling up themselves up by the bootstraps. No, capitalism is about exploiting people. It's about taking value. So it's, you know, we're living a consumer society. But these assholes don't even want to make being a consumer enjoyable. They've taken everything aesthetically uh, pleasing or valuable and useful from the Comixology site. And they've just shit on it they've destroyed it they've done a, t a, a, a ton of different things to uh international users so a lot of those people just lost their comics they've got their uh subscriptions canceled they've got their pre-orders canceled they've just shit on everybody and it seems like they just did it just so they could make you know they could just basically make it more people aware that Comixology is owned by Amazon. Now, when you go to a Comixology site before this upgrade, it would say an Amazon company. What else, like, what more do you need? Like, why do you need to make it a part of the uh, storefront and just make it a storefront? Like, like, a big part of the problem, and I was talking about uh, capitalism taking away, like, they're not considering who their customers are. They're just going, well, it's going to be a part of the, it's a part of the Amazon brand. So we're just going to merge it to the Amazon store. 
it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. You know, these uh, these people are just going to buy comics. That's what they're doing. They're just buying comics. It's not about, well, I, you know, I have a smart list so that I can see, you know, what I've re- read uh, recently, what I've purchased recently, so I can see what comics, you know, like uh, different titles, how they group together. Um, the library is just, like I said, a lot of this... I guess they want you to go to the tablet or to your phone to uh, look at <laughs> the comics because, like, in other words, it's not a website anymore. It's like, okay, on the Amazon website, Comicsology is just a storefront now. If you want to read your comics, you can't click on it and read it here. You have to go to the app on your phone or on your tablet. But it takes away the point of being a comic fan who's going... To a digital portal to read comics because like i said it's not just about going to the comic book portal of comiXology and buying comics it's you read it there you know how to search for things now um i guess the library supposedly it's easier to search for things but it's easier to search for titles but it's not easier to search for where your goddamn comics are i've purchased so many goddamn comics over the years i think i started reading or started using uh, comiXology I can't remember what year it was. It, um, what is this? 2022. Man, it could be as far back as 2015 or 2014. I don't know. I guess I would have to check. Um, I would have to check to see when. Well, see, I got kicked off the Twitter. I'm, I'm doing an incognito so I can kind of look at some of the uh, replies to this um, bullshit thread, which I'm not going to read out really from Comicsology a few days ago. Where they were talking about, oh, we're going to update. And they tell you all the different things that the new update is going to do. And it's all crap. It's all bullshit. It's crap. But uh, a mutual on Twitter a few years back um, was talking about there was a sale for The Wicked and Divine by, uh, what's his face? I don't know his name. But um, what's his name? Now, who cares? You know who it is. But Wicked and Divine. And he was excited about it. He said, look at this sale. It was like the first 17 issues in a bundle for really cheap or 17 to 27. I don't know. But anyway, we can divide a bunch of issues, single issues in a bundle. He was excited about it. And he had the link on his Twitter. So I clicked on the link and the covers were beautiful. So I got excited about it because he was excited about it. And like I said, I clicked on the link and I saw these pictures and the covers and they looked great. So I bought the bundle, started reading it. Great stuff. Um, that's a great comic. I think the last volume really devolves into SJW-ness, but overall is a great series. So, yeah, i just been, and from there, I was just, that got me back into reading comics um, on a regular basis. I, you know, I think every comic book fan knows this, that they go in and out, depending on what's going on. And I think around that time, I got back into it, though I wasn't reading a lot of superhero comics, because that all looked like nonsense, but I was buying comics again. Uh, treat paperbacks and back issues and stuff like that. So I bought all these goddamn comics over the years. A lot of good sales, a lot of junk, tons of Green Arrow, uh, tons of Spider-Man, X-Men, Fantastic Four. Uh, it's about to buy a bunch of Justice League of America from the 80s uh, that starred like Vixen, Animal Man, all kinds of stuff I was getting. And I haven't even read a lot of these yet. I just was buying it. And, you know, I always know I can just go to Comixology when I'm ready and just start reading them. But like I said, it's gone. The, the web browser is gone. So you can't read comics normally. I went to my Fire a tablet while I was working, trying to look at, um, and I don't know, the guided view, the, the reader sucks. It has guided view, but it's not intuitive. They can have you double tapping on the screen and all this. Instead of just, it's, it, 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 it's dead. Like, it's dead. I can't even talk. I'm so frustrated because I can't believe that. Let me see. All right. Yes. Steve, I'm, I'm not going to read these people's names, but somebody was like, pretty much all this is a straight up downgrade. This will really make the usage, ugh, I can't talk, of this app and platform much harder for people around the world. Uh, this move is basically killing Comixology. No, it killed it. For every non-U.S. customer. No U.S. as well. No subscriptions. A worse search and buying experience. 
and a lot of users won't even have serious grouping in their libraries. Every feature announced is a downgrade. I can't even like it because I'm not, you know, I've been banned from Twitter. Um, this It's killing it for every U.S. customer, too. I am lost by this app, and I don't know how to use it. Comixology just committed suicide. I, um, I was subscribed to Comixology, and I, I knew that this was coming. I was worried about it, but I thought it can't be that bad. Nobody's that stupid. And as soon as I, you know, uh, Comixology is one of the, YouTube and Comixology are the two sites that I go to daily. Pretty much the first thing I do when I get up <laughs> and get on the computer is go to Comixology and YouTube. Comixology all of a sudden turns to Amazon, and I'm just looking at Amazon storefront. I hate the Amazon storefront. I use Amazon a lot. It's useful to get things, you know, you want to get a headset, <laughs> you know, whatever. You know. Um, but I'm trying to look at what I got. Uh, HDD, external drive, USBs. You know, I actually do buy the uh, Blade of Immortal Omnibus, and anytime I buy a physical copy of a book or trade I do get from Amazon but I don't expect anything special even though I don't like the way it looks I don't expect anything special because I just get what I want and get out of there but we're nerds I'm saying we but anybody who's upset about this there's a fundamental misunderstanding from these people who made this change that they don't understand that the readers are going to a place to get comics, but it's not a grocery store. It's not a storefront. It's a place where, like, this is the thing they don't understand about uh, fans of comic book movies, or fans of comics who complain about movies, or fans of fantasy who complain about race swaps and gender swaps. They don't understand how particular we are and what we get out of these things. We're not complaining just to be complaining. We're not saying, oh, you know, I don't like black elves because I don't like black people. I'm black. But it's, these were made for a special reason, a particular reason. We respect that. I go to the Comicsology store to see all the comic book covers, you know, to look at um, suggestions, to uh, actually click and read a comic I've purchased right there if I want to. And they've taken that away. They've shit on that. And they've just, like I said, it's just Amazon. So when I'm clicking on books that I fucking own, well, own, you know, digital, as far as you can own digital products. But when I'm clicking on that, it's not doing anything. It's just saying, hey, you want to buy it? I'm, I just bought it. I've already bought it, rather. I've already, I, I own it. I want to read it. But you can't read it. Like I said, they say, well, go to Kindle. Kindle, though, Kindle's a terrible reader. It's fine for, you know, novels. You know, even, and I, I don't like it even when I have there's books that have, like, you know, images in them because they don't do a good job with it. It's, again, like. So, yeah, Comicsology is dead. <laughs> what an absolute train wreck this downgrade is. Uh, so, this guy's talking about his Japanese stuff. I mean, I, I don't even like the Viz. Uh, website. I don't like it. I read, I'm reading one piece there, but I notice I don't go to it often. I pay the two bucks because I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like how you change, how you have to uh, change the pages. You know, it's not really that great. <laughs> but even that would be better than what <sighs> I. I And then this person, this is a horrible downgrade, especially to purchasing. Yes, it is. You realize that we have to go to the Amazon site. And the Amazon site likes to route you to the damn app where we can't purchase things, right? This is going to be an absolute mess. Way to ruin things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just an update. The Comicsology site now routes to Amazon. And it's a trash site. It is. It is. I mean, I guess I buy from it. I'm a regular customer with Amazon. But I hate the uh, storefront. My wish list, I can't stop. My, week is, my wish list has a bunch of stuff I already own with the ability to buy it again. The sales are hard to navigate and the site goes between unresponsive and hyper-responsive. And then this, I've still yet to see an official response 
to the Kindle cloud reader not properly displaying double page spreads. I don't care how easy or hard comics are to buy if I can't read them. Exactly. When things switch over, do you really think customers are going to complain about this en masse to Marvel, DC, and everyone else? Are the publishers going to appreciate breaking their product? Um, this was on February 11th. I'm, um, I don't know what today's date is. No, it's the 17th, right? It's Thursday. Is it the 17th or the 16th? Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be able to play Horizon Forbidden West in about 15 minutes. It's, it's almost nine. I'm not even excited about it, to be honest. I, you know, I did that video about fat Aloy, and it doesn't look like they've really improved her look. And I see that um, a YouTuber I actually like, even though I can't think of her name. Oh, S S uh, Sphere Hunter was, I guess, slagging off somebody who complained about her being ugly. Who Not Sphere Hunter being ugly, but um, Aloy being ugly now. And she was just basically like, um, dude, get over it. And the thing is, again, this is a visual medium. You're going to spend like 30, 40 hours looking at this character. You, do, you know how she supposedly looked six months earlier, according to the story. But they've changed her look, and they've done it not because it means anything. They did it because they don't want to upset, I don't know who, people on Twitter, who've decided that there are women in the world who will be upset and hurt by a beautiful lead. So they want beautiful, um, no, they want women to be the star of every video game, these psychopaths. But they also want the women to be ugly. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, pick a fucking struggle. You want them all to be women, but then you also want them all to be ugly? Like, where do you think, who who's going to pay for this shit? I mean, I, I don't buy video games just, you know, so the women are pretty, because that's why I bought, like I said, Aloy looks ugly now, but I bought it because I still love the series, and I think the, you know, the character's still going to be great. She's just not going to be as attractive as she was. And it was just something that you just appreciate as you're playing. And, and I said my Fat Aloy video, she was never sexualized, really. The closest thing that came to her being sexy was her little bare midriff in one of the outfits, which I'm pretty sure she's not going to have anything like that now. It won't be a costume where you'll see any skin whatsoever. Her belly is too flat and too strong. Uh, to, you know, I guess the, the fat asses that they imagine um, are, you know, going to play this game. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, every single thing in this thread is bad. It is a dumb thread where they just go on and on acting like what they're doing is so great. It's like 20... We've come to this thread's end. Here's the FAQ again. My deep thanks to the Comicsology team for their love of comics, manga, and graphic novels, and incredible hard work. Thank you for your continued passion for comics. We appreciate your patience. Fuck off. None of this shit, none of this shit is good. This is all fucking bad. Like I said, I don't, we don't have the site anymore. The site is gone. You can go, I went to my tablet. The site is there. They make you update it. And it's changed. So they got a library. Looks different. It doesn't have a smart list. They say you can filter stuff, but it's hard to navigate. Doesn't make any sense. You don't have, like, I had a bunch of books downloaded so I could read whenever I want to. Now they say, you know, you can read in um, while it's downloading. Um, that's pretty cool. But um, Guided View was all messed up. The, the, the different prompts and features that it had is gone. Now it's this thing where it looks like you just zoom in and zoom out. And this, they have this, he's talking about, whoever this is, I think it's this guy here, is all like uh, something about you can pinch something about you know, pinching it, I guess, to change the, the zoom, you know, to make it larger or smaller. And like, I don't want to fucking do that. I didn't have to do that before. You know, there was a an option to click to zoom. You could zoom and zoom more. Now, it's funny. It's done. I, I, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I don't feel like doing it. And what I'm going to say, I, I kind of, <laughs> I'm just angry. So, I'm, I, my last video before this one was my uh, Batman Catwoman video. I won't be able to do any more videos like that because the web browser is, is, is gone. 
so I can't, you know, screen cap. <laughs> I guess I could do it on a uh, tablet if I, you know, figure out how to do it. I, I'm not interested really in do like. It's fun or easy for me to just sit there at my laptop, look at the comic, but that's gone. I can't do that anymore. Um, I can't do screen. In other words, well, I'm, I've been kicked off Twitter, so what I used to do is stuff like this. I would do, but it would be the actual comics. I would take comic panels and I would tell my little, tell little stories with it and stuff. Um, I started to try to do that on Instagram, but um, yeah, I won't be able to do any more of that. Uh, <laughs> Um, it or it'll be more of a hassle to do it, which you know is at a certain point it's not worth it. You know I've got um, books to read. I've got you know. I, so yeah, I mean there's really not much I can say. I don't think they're going to improve much of it. They just this is February 11th. They haven't said shit. You know since this, and there's a bunch of people who complained. A ton of people. Um, let me see, because now it'll just keep telling me to, yeah, it keeps telling me to join the conversation. The last time I did it, yeah, see, it won't highlight what I wanted to highlight. I'm trying to highlight the people who replied, but they're trying to make me to log in. It's like, no, idiots, you, um, you banned me because you were upset about some woman's butt. Oh, and when I said that, I was saying that, you know, I had a woman's butt as a batter. She was actually, her butt was covered. You know, she had a, a bathing suit on, but... It was too much um, for them, I guess. And like I said, it was a part of their hate speech and sensitive. You know, I'm like, what are you talking about? It's just some girl's ass. Um, I have to find that picture one day to show you. It's a. Uh, I can't think of her name. Sorry. I, you know, once I finish working all day, being yelled at <laughs> or yelling with at, at clients, you know, everything melts. And uh, let's see. What will happen with compensology sales going forward? Can we still expect the same frequency, variety of content? It doesn't matter because I won't be able to read. I won't. I would buy a comic from these fucking idiots, and I wouldn't know where it would be after I bought it. It would just be gone. So you have made it much worse for everyone, especially outside the U.S. Well done, I guess. And that's what I was saying. I said I was going to title my uh, video this: "Rip Comicsology. This won't be good." You're cutting corners and putting out a half-assed product. I had better hopes, but seems I'm probably going to be changing my services. This was the best thing for manga readers, and now it will be a total loss. I, I mean, I have, I have to check because I've read a couple of horror stories. Of people just can't find the comics; they're just gone. I bought all kinds of, you know, uh, what's his name, Junji Ito, comics and stuff, and I haven't read them yet because I just was buying. You know, because they're two different uh, hobbies. Reading books and buying books are two separate hobbies, all right? So so I got a ton of books, though, that I'm like, I'm going to tackle them and read them all. I'm currently reading um, Moon Witch Spider King by um, Marlon James, which is the second part of Black Leopard Red Wolf. So far, it's good. I've only been, I'm only read like 70-something pages of it. Um, but I was in between reading that I was reading Nick Spencer's run on Amazing Spider-Man, which hasn't been that great. But now I got to sit there and look for these things again. I don't. I mean, I bought these comics, so I'm gonna have to read them. But I'm going to. I think I'm done though. I'm gonna probably finish Batman Catwoman. Um, I was reading Thing, that Thing miniseries by Walter Mosley, Mosley or whatever. Um, I'll finish that out, and then I, I'm done. I'm, uh, I think I'll just start pirating comics. Um, and apparently, they're better to read. I don't want to pirate comics. I really don't. I like spending my money on junk. But um, I don't think there's any good alternatives to comicsology, and comicsology is no longer what it was. So, yeah, I think I'll just pirate comics from now on. Besides the ones that I buy physically, I don't, I, I don't go to comic stop uh, doors anymore in person. I stopped going to them a year, for years because usually the owner is a weirdo. And I just got tired of going to weird comic stores to look at you like something's wrong with you when you come in there. Like they don't want you in the store. So that was one of the reasons why I had got out of comics. You know, because the last good comic stop store I used to go to, uh, Joshua Williamson uh, worked there. He left and the guys who was 
you know, stayed there were cool too, but it was just too far for me to drive from where I live. So yeah, anything, like I said, everything close was just a bunch of weirdos. So I got out of comics, got back into it with comiXology and here's the cops. Oh, as always, I'm about to stop this though. So yeah, um, I don't know if anybody's, uh, really cares about digital comics or super into, uh, comic books to probably say, yeah, just order your comic books physically or just go into a comic store again, dude. <sighs> Take care. I don't have anything else to say about this right now. Now let me go get disappointed by uh, Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs>